and just had a little parcel through I thought I'd come and show it you I've just slit it open there <clears throat> you all recognize the box the old Amazon Whoop, sorry it knocked you and look what I got <laughs> I have paid off my um, <clears throat> pens that I got Millie and the pen few bits I got me because I used their payment program so that's finished so I decided to get these and there's something else for Millie which I can't show you because she's looking at all the videos now to see what I bought to see if there's anything there for her so I've hidden them away so I put these on my payment plan so every two weeks I pay so much off okay. £12 is it or something like that every two weeks or £12 something not much anyway and I never noticed the last lot that I got so I've treated myself to these which are the Arteza 100 Unique Colour Water Based Ink Blendable Compact Ideal for Watercolour Techniques and Journaling, journaling 100 Twee Markers Premium the one end's got a fine tip of 0.4 millimetres and the other end has a brush tip of I don't know how many things in there. So on the back you have all the colours there for you to see, quite a variety. They've also got a thing that you go on to to do helpful tips and it says join, join the Arteza Club and you'll get a 20% off purchase. I did that on my last little thing that I bought I can't remember what did I get was it the colouring pencils or was it the final I don't know I did use that one once when I when I did uh, join the club and it says three markers are available in a variety of sets and colours please visit www.arteza.com for more information um, for America it would be yeah I think is the same is it the same on ours so that would be the american one dot com and if you want the uk site which is mine you just put instead of dot com put dot co dot uk and it will take you to the british site these were 49.98 but i think you can get them in a smaller variety as well smaller size so should we have a look should we should we she says Oh, God. I didn't eat my wheat and eggs this morning. Right, let's put that to one side. So we have some browns and some greys and some yellow ochre, caramel browns. Some greens going into the browns. Some blues going into the greens, blues going into the purples. Oh, let's put it over there a bit more, sorry. Purples going into pinks, going into some reds. And then reds going into orange, going into yellow. Oh, sorry I keep knocking that, I can't help myself. I aren't going, I'm not going to swatch them now, but if you'd like me to do a swatch, I can. But I thought we'd do a bit of colouring, see what they like. I won't do loads, but I just thought I would... Excuse me for the chair rattling. I would just bring a book down and we'll just see how some of them work if you want to. So can you see? Hang on, can I get in a bit closer? There you go. So what, what colour should we use? What colour should we do that? Purple because it's my favourite. So electric plum sounds nice. I've no idea what it... Uh, I will swatch them, but whether you want me to do them on film or not. But you can go on here and look. So what have we got? Electric plum. So electric plum should roughly look that colour. So we'll see. Right, so we've got... That's the... Ooh, does help if I show you. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Brush tip, that end which I think we'll use now and then if you wanted a finer nib hang on. you 
we've got that one. You can see my camera skills are <laughs> so good, aren't they? So we're going to use the brush nib. So can you see if I do there? Oh, these are nice. I think I was expecting them to be a bit like a felt, you know, your felt tip. But there's a lot, you don't need to put a lot of, um, what's the doodah? I don't have to press very hard. I'm only holding it very, very lightly. I'm going into the keynes. Oh, 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 you know what we didn't do? We didn't do. Oh, I bet you're all shouting at me then as well to do it, weren't you? And you're saying, Caroline, what are you doing? You silly cow, what are you doing? I forgot to put that there. But I haven't got any bleed through at the moment, but you never know. You never know. So we'll do, we'll do this flower. I was thinking, what is she doing? I thought I'd do it a two-tone flower. Now this book is my experiment book that I started with. is from Tiger. I think you have it in America as well. I'm not sure, but definitely in Britain. Um, a foreign com company. Don't ask me where from. I can't remember. And it was only about three pound. Two or three pen, it wasn't much. And I've I do like this one. Oh look I can't get rid of in the corner. It wasn't much anyway, so I thought this is one of the first books I bought. And I do enjoy doing flowers in this one. Yeah, if I get anything new, I tend to have a go at it in this one. Mind you, if you go wrong or go out the lines, it don't really matter, does it? Because it's only you, for you. I used to be paranoid. Oh my God, can't go out the lines, can't go out the lines. But now I just think, oh well. Sometimes it annoys me. But it can't do much if it's in pen. I mean, if it's in pencil, you can sort of rub most of it out. But as long as you enjoy the process that's the only thing you've got to tell yourself as long as you're enjoying what you're doing i mean if it turns out great that's a bonus i say as long as you have fun as you go in so how's everybody's day my heating went on for the first time last night i was flipping perished absolutely perished so it went on for a couple of hours just to heat the place through. And today I'm not sure whether I'm hot or I'm cold. Mind you, it doesn't help having hot flushes. So Cardi's on, Cardi's off, Cardi's on, Cardi's off. But I have kept the heating off. So I thought it's a bit early yet to start putting the heating on. But And then again, I thought, well, it is October. So it is the opt winter months coming isn't it so October was it November when to officially start but you could tell we actually had a frost yesterday morning on the car which was yeah a bit of a shock not a thick one but you still had to scrape it seem to blend all right don't they well you know you haven't got streaks and streaks and streaks should we get a different type of purple now do we get a lighter one do you think should we get one from the other tray should we get or is it from this one or should we get a darker one should we get a darker one maybe from this one we get a darker one why not what's that ultramarine blue no i don't want a bluey one my arm in your way you see my nice hairy arms <laughs> a royal purple oh that sounds posh now does that look like that electric plum there can you see it i don't think so that's really bright there then that's quite pale there 
So I think I will definitely be doing my own swab. 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 <laughs> yeah, Karen, you're doing swab. Swatch. Swat. Is that the right word? Swatch. It, oh, that's nice. It goes well, doesn't it? So what one was this again? Royal purple. Does anybody, when they're doing this, and then they go put them away and then decide that they want to do them colours somewhere else. That combination, I've forgotten to write it down. I'm a bugger for it. I'm trying to know that when I've got one of these pieces of paper to write out the colours that I'm using. Oh, look, it's still no, no bleed through. It's to write down the column, colour, 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 colour combination. Because when I do my leaves is the worst. I found a lovely combination the other day, and do you think I can work out which what, which pencils I use to get it? Nope. Not a chance. Grant says, when will you learn to write them down? I said, I know. But I'll tell you what, I am enjoying colouring and... I think I enjoy pencil because if I make a sort of mistake, I can rub it out. But when you're with pens, markers or anything, you know, once it's down, it's down. But then it's it's good in another way because it's teaching me that if you do make a mistake, it doesn't matter. I'm not an artist. I'm not a professional. See, I've gone over there. No mind. I'm just Joe Bloggs in Midwells with a pen in her hand, colouring. You know, it's not a job, it's just something for pleasure to put a smile on my face, as they say. Oh, I tell you, I was looking last night, it's Joanne, Joanne Basford's Christmas book. Because I love Christmas, I love Halloween. Oh, I love Easter, I love anything that's got a bit of a theme to it, theme to it. But I do like Christmas, so I was having a look at that last night. So I've got all my nectar points, which is Sainsbury's. We do nectars now. I think I, I can use on eBay. As I was telling you the other week, I've got £12 on there. I think the book is £9 something. I did see a couple of other books that I wanted, but this one's uh, could jump into the top of the list now. I said my Amazon list is, is ugh, it's getting stupid now, my wish list. Absolutely stupid. You can't help yourself though, can you? You see somebody else using something or showing something that they've just got and you're like, oh, I've got to have it. I want it, I want it. Like I'd love to have um, Prisma colours just to try they look so pigmented but yeah that'll stay on my wish list for a long 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 long, long time what do you think then guys shall i put a bit of orange in the middle so where was our oranges they were down the bottom weren't they should we do a little, little bit of orange and then what we might do is a bit of green that's a nice orangey one what's that one Oh, it's a coral. No, I don't want a coral. I want something really bright. Mm. Oh, I can get them out. What's that? Acid, or <laughs> Acid orange. Fair play. They don't have to choose some names for these. And I've got a little bit of fur on the end of that. Just pick it off. As they say. Right. So then we're going to do the stem, a greeny brown. Shall we do a stem and olivey green or should we do it um, cassotti brown? What's that one there? That's a jungle green. That's odd, isn't it? Jungle green. In the middle of the greys. Should we try a jungle grey for... The, the vine, not the vine, what's it called, this bit? God, oh, bloody hell, I tell you what, if I had a brain, I'd be bloody lethal. And it's a dark green, isn't it? But I like these because you can go right up to the line and it doesn't leak over. 
I'm trying to use my Everblend and I've got to try and remind myself not to go right up to the end because they bleed outwards. But it's all a learning curve. As I say, we're just over a month into colouring, so. So that's that one. Should we do a pine green for the leaves? Just to see what it's like. So I won't swatch these ones, as I said, until you let me know whether you want me to um, swatch them on camera or not. I don't know what these, they say they're, they're blendable, but I'm wondering if you'd have to blend them when they're wet, like you would alcohol colours. I would say so, wouldn't you? We've got another green and try it. Oh, what's that one? Emerald green. What's that one? Forest green. I like I usually like these two. So a that's a forest green. Well, they might work together. If we try them, I suppose I should try on on paper first. But I ain't gonna. Right. I think they do, don't they? I think they do. Hey, hey, what do you think? Can you, did you look, oh, was that out, was that out of shot? Flipping heck. Should I do one over here so you can actually see? Can you see that one there? Should you do one up there? Do one up there, Caroline. I'll do one up there. So you can see it, which is the dark. Right, I'm going to do it in circles because I think it blends better in circles. So we've got the other one ready. Just went over it again just to blend in the two colours. Can you see that? Oh. Pants. Oh. Uh -oh. Can you see that? Can you see the two colours? Oh, you can see that one a bit better with the light. Where it goes from dark into light. It's not as clear on camera. Yeah, I think they do. Shall I try it with the three? Shall I try it with the three? Okay. Right, let's try that one up there. Shall we? I shall buy the turnout, all right, or the turnout pants on it. Do we care? Nah. I'm just going to do a quick bit of circles. It seems to be... seems to work better with the circles. Yeah, my blooming dogs are <laughs> in in the background. I 
do you think? I mean, this isn't the best quality paper. As I said, it's really cheap and cheerful. But it's definitely gone in the gradient, isn't it? I have three colours and it's sort of blended into... Blended into, can you see? Oh, that better? I'm going to put that light down on it a bit more. Oh no. My light is absolutely pants, isn't it? Can you see it down there? Yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Well, as I say, I think it's got every colour that you could think of. Now, see, I want to put them back how they were, but I can't remember. So we're just going to guess. That's well, probably wrong, but hey ho. Yeah, so what do you think? What do you think? I would definitely say give it a go. I think they're vibrant, easy to use. I think I'll have to practice a bit more with me blending with them, but they definitely do blend. I think you've just got to make sure you don't have a harsh line and you have them ready to use. So, yeah. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. But if you give it a thumbs down, please let me know why. And I'm no expert. I don't mean, to, don't even pretend to be. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely a beginner at colouring. Um, so be nice. Um, if you like what you see and you want fancy subscribing, that would be fantastic. And there's a notification bell by the side to let you know if I put up a video or go live, which is usually on a Sunday. But please take care, look after yourselves and see you all soon. Bye for now.